in case you've been living under a rock or um, Florida, we're in the midst of a pandemic. <laughs> Today I'm going to be showing you guys all of my favorite things and stuff that I've been loving, but quarantine stay at home edition because I hope you're staying at home. Sit your butt down. Truthfully, any favorites video of mine could be like a stay at home edition because I... <laughs> always at home. Uh, but this specifically, I have literally no makeup, I have no cute clothes, nothing like that. It's just the stuff that has been getting me through the day to day. So without further ado, let's get into it. I've been on this wavy hair journey since April and I have vlogs, if you haven't seen them, where I do like the starting process and going through all of that. And then I actually have my two routine videos, my wash day routine and then my refresh routine. Both of those are on IGTV. So I will link that. Can I link an IGTV? I feel like you can. I'll link them so if you guys want to check those out, but I actually have like more hair products So some of them I've used at that point, which I'm just gonna get into it This first thing I included in my wash day routine and this is like a shower brush You like scrub your scalp with it. Do you see the face I'm making? That's how it makes my scalp feel and it really it doesn't like it doesn't go it isn't, it isn't too rough on your scalp and it doesn't like scrape like your fingernails would but it is like a head massage you know that feeling when someone massages your head but when you're getting your hair washed and you're just like in the toilet in the toilet bowl ew i didn't make that girl can you tell but when you're in like the 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 the, 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 the hair washing bowl is there a name for you whatever and it's also really good for removing product buildup but also because with if you're if you're doing like the curly girl method i am not strict curly girl method at all do not come for me but a lot of it people can find there's a lot of product buildup and you're also not washing your hair necessarily as often so this really really gets it and it came in a pack of two and mott's got one he's very into it too next is my mister bottle this is what i use to dampen my hair for my refresh if you've seen my vlog where i like just went in the shower and like kind of got my hair misty and then like used water from the sink in my hands this is like the new and improved version and it has like a really like oh oh that just fell on my wow i want to run through that i want like a slip and slide and sprinkler it'd be so nice maybe i should just do that i have two masks that i love this one don't come for me it's like really gross on the outside because i've been using it for so long and this is the briogeo don't despair repair deep conditioning mask and i also recently learned that briogeo is a black owned hair care company so love to support that this hair mask is amazing like so 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 good i'm pretty sure there's protein in this hair mask and if you've dove in dove in if you've do do, do bah, what's the past tense of dive dove if you've dove in into if you've looked into like the curly girl routine or like any part of the curly community there's this whole thing of okay moisture and protein and all of this stuff i'm still decoding all of it i joined some facebook groups to like be like oh what is, what is this i'm trying to understand more and so this this is a great mask for um, your hair. It's just a really good deep conditioning mask. It makes my hair super, 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 super soft. And I have processed color treated hair. And I used this even before I was wearing my hair naturally wavy. And I still like loved it. And it was like my absolute favorite mask. So I love this. I'm actually running very low. And the other mask that I have is from Shea Moisture. And this is their Manuka Honey and Yogurt Hydrate and Repair Protein Power Treatment. This is a protein hair mask. It's really, really thick. It smells so good. Oh, I don't know. I just... It smells like something or someone with like fond memories. I don't know. I love this. This is what I used on my hair last night. And I found that protein has made the absolute biggest difference in like my hair, like hair clumping and actually having more defined waves and having it be, I don't know, more defined, I think is really what it is. But I love it. This is so cheap. This is from Target and I use the voice crack. Am I a 14 year old boy? I don't know. But this has been like the biggest game changer. And I told my best friend Sydney, I was like, you have to get protein in your hair. So if you are trying wavy hair, natural in general, but I think everyone needs protein in their hair and your diet. I'm going to stop talking. Does any of that make sense? Can you tell that like I am not a wavy hair influencer? Ugh, Matza's hair is all over this. My two favorite hair products recently have been the Kinky Curly Original Curling Custard and then the Curls Blueberry Bliss Reparative Leave-In Conditioner. I talked a lot about the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk line. I still absolutely love this, but these are what I've been using for like the last couple, like the last month and a half probably. Both of these are black owned hair care brands. I wanted to support more black owned hair care companies, especially when it comes to like curly slash wavy hair. I am obsessed with these. I will say this is not my favorite smell in the world, but I'm only saying that because I think other people will love the smell. 
and I've read reviews of people who love it. It smells just kind of like artificial blueberry, and I don't, I hate smells. I hate most smells, to be perfectly honest. This is just so good. It's such a nice leave, and it leaves my hair really seaweedy, which is the goal. If you have no idea about any of this wavy hair stuff, you're probably like, what are these terms that you're using? It keeps the hair really hydrated and makes it so like it clumps easier and I just really like it and it doesn't leave my hair heavy. Then the Kinky Curly Curling Custard is like a game changer. This is the only thing that I use in my refresh. Like this is it. Like that's the only product I need to use. It's a gel, but it also, I don't know. It also feels like a defining cream at the same time. It has such a cool texture. It's like jelly. It smells really vanilla-y. Not necessarily a fan of the smell. Again, I don't really like a lot of smells. I like smells like french fries and like that's it. My last hair care favorite is Olaplex number three. My hairstylist has always used this in my hair when she dyes my hair, but I also just bought it from Sephora. It's the tiniest little bottle, but this is a bond builder, which, what does that mean? To be honest, I don't totally know. All I know is that it just fixes your hair. <laughs> if your hair is damaged, if your hair is color treated, bleached, it just builds the bonds back together in your hair. Like if you're gonna get something to like really make a huge difference in your hair, Olaplex is what you need to um, save the integrity of your hair. Moving on to skincare favorites. This next one is just proof that I'm obsessed with TikTok and also that I started watching Hiram. This is the Ordinary Peeling Solution. This is a chemical exfoliant. I really like this. It reminds me a lot of the Drunk Elephant Baby Facial. This is definitely way, 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 way more affordable. And the only thing I'll say is make sure you don't put it on open acne. I haven't done it, God, but I definitely have put like the Drunk Elephant TLC Baby Facial on like relatively um, like open acne and it will hurt you so bad and you will get chemical burns and it is terrible. But I love it. It really helps with the texture of my skin and hyperpigmentation from, you know, my skin picking. Speaking of skin picking, I've talked about these so much. The Hero Cosmetics Mighty Patches. These are the pimple patches that I swear by. I promise you, I think I've tried almost every single brand. These ones are by for my favorite. Like they don't lift on the corners. I don't, I can keep them on all day or all night and they don't move at all. And you get so much out of the zits. But these ones have been my holy grail recently and these are the surface ones. So they're just way bigger. I'm getting a ton of hormonal acne around my chin and I will just put one on this side and one on the other side in the morning you take it off and you peel it and it is so satisfying and you guys know that I am a uh, compulsive skin picker so the more surface area I can cover the better but they have tons of them they have like invisible ones they have uh, micro needle ones for dark spots they have ones for cystic acne with they also have micro needles in them I'm obsessed I just love them so much next is the CeraVe SA lotion for rough and bumpy skin this is lotion with salicylic like acid in it. I um, recently, no, that's a lie. Always. I've always had like bumps on my legs and combined with my like skin picking problem. It's not just acne that I'll pick. Like I will pick every bump on my skin. I will pick like, if I think it's an ingrown hair, like my legs have bloody dots all over them all the time. So do my armpits. And this has been really helpful in lifting any of those even slightly ingrown hairs that I will go at with like a needle and tweezers. And this really helps smooth it so I have less to pick at so I really like this a lot it's worked it's worked pretty well I mean I still have found things to pick but my whole goal is just to like give myself less opportunity to pick so the clearer my skin is and the less like ingrown hairs and bumps and just like skin stuff I have I'll pick less I'll still pick but there's less to pick you know? My next favorite is the Tan Lux, the Body Drops. As you can see, I have used so much of these. I don't know if I've, have I talked about these before. Maybe. These are just self-tanning drops that you mix in with your moisturizer and you create your own kind of gradual tan, but it's definitely faster than like, you know, the days of Jergens when we would smell like chicken. And what I like about this is it fades in such a better way than the other tanning mousses and all of that stuff. I really like it and you don't have to wash off and it's super easy. I'm a huge fan. Now we're moving on to random favorites. I have been obsessed with probiotic gummies. I have loved probiotics forever, mostly because I need to love them because I have IBS and so many stomach issues, but I was 
faced with the issue that probiotics were just making me throw up. I have a really weak stomach in general, and I just got to a certain point where I couldn't hang. Like, if Melissa and I are recording the podcast one day, and I like had to leave the Zoom and be like, oh, I'll be right back. And then I came back, and she's like, did you just barf? And I was like, yep, so much. I needed to have something that I could have that, that wasn't just a regular pill, so I thought maybe gummy vitamins would work. Turns out, they do, and I also don't have to eat these on an empty stomach. These are sugar-free probiotics. I really like them. I only have one left. Big fan. I have one clothing favorite, uh, and it's sweatpants, obviously. It's a matching sweatsuit. If you watched my room cleaning video, I showed this in it, but this is a matching sweatsuit from Richer Pourer. It's this really pretty, like, I think it's like more of a purpley than a maroon color. I usually hate dark colors on me. Um, I prefer to be beige. I just think I look better in like a haze of beige. They're like classic and cute and really, really comfortable. And I really wanna get them in more colors. But if you've seen that video, who needs more sweatpants? Cause it's not me. On to workout favorites. I have fully had to switch up my fitness and workout routine now that we are staying at home and have been for the last couple months. Really when this all first started, I signed up for Obey Fitness, which is a streaming website. My best friend Sydney found out about it. And then she was like, oh, you should sign up. And I did, and I love it. But they have so many different classes. It's like $30 a month, I think, is it? Less than one regular like box class or spin class or any other like boutique fitness class in LA and I love working out from home turns out like it's great I like being able to go at my own pace but at the same time I will say that um, if there is nobody there to hold me accountable I will pause like start and stop so many so many so many times but I also find that I just can do more throughout the day because I don't have to like factor in like leaving the house and all of that stuff my favorite classes I love Peter Tucci's dance cardio class like he just makes me so happy. Like he just like brings absolute joy to my life. I love Mary Wolf's hit dance class. They're so good. I love Liz's sculpt class. Absolutely fantastic. There's a new instructor, Dorian. She has been kicking my ass. I love it. Like it's just, it's great. I don't have a code for them. I know they work with some influencers. If you guys would ever want to work with me, hit me up. And um, someone uh, DM'd me and told me that they signed up and there's like a little section where you can put like, oh, how'd you hear about us? And she put me. So maybe if you guys put me, then they'll sponsor me. Sticking with the theme of working out, I got two new pairs of running shoes at the start of quarantine. Not running shoes, just like athletic shoes at the start of quarantine because I could not for the life of me clean any of my workout shoes enough to like work out on our light carpet. And on top of that, I really needed new ones anyway. So I got these Nike React Fly Knits. These are technically running shoes, but I really love them for dance classes. They have a really supportive high arch. I have flat feet, so that's something I really need my knees turn in and my ankles and everything about me is broken, including my spirit. So I love these. I think the color combo is so cute too. And these other ones are the Nike Metcon. Oh God, they're a Metcon something. I'll have them linked. I wasn't sure if I was going to love them because like they're like a look, like they're very chunky, but I'm obsessed with this color combo. A lot of my workout sets are red and I actually have a couple of workout sets that are like this baby blue color. I love these. These are really good for hit training. So there's a good amount of ankle stability, which I need. I like shoes that go up a little higher, but I'm just obsessed with like both of them. Like best workout shoes I've ever had before. And my last workout favorite, probably should have rolled this up, is my yoga mat. Woo! This is from Society6 and it's like a peachy pink, like terrazzo. I don't know, Mandy Moore's kitchen. Do you see that video? Beautiful home. It's a really cool print. I wanted to find a yoga mat that wasn't incredibly expensive. It's definitely not like the thickest yoga mat in the world, but I'm also not using it for yoga and I'm using it on top of a carpet, but I also like it because it's cute and they have so many, so many like really pretty prints and all that stuff. Now the rest of my favorites are on my phone because they're random. My favorite TV show has been Criminal Minds. Talk about it all the time. I've loved Criminal Minds forever, but Mott's and I are rewatching. Chef's Kiss, obsessed, enjoy it and we also recently cycled back in the good place I just didn't watch the most recent season and he watched all of season one and two Did you watch all of season two I don't know you know we're catching him up and then we're gonna watch the final season and I am so excited it is the like one of the greatest shows ever on television it's definitely a little like existential crisis -y, especially at this time but if you haven't seen it it's like the best written TV show of all time and criminal minds if you need something to watch for the next like 15 years 
they've got a lot of episodes and Dr. Reed can get it. My favorite movie that I've watched recently is 13th on Netflix. I've talked about this so much. I swear every single time someone DMs me, you know, trying to educate some like, I'm like a diet racist. I'm like racist light. I'm not actually racist. I'm like, ah, you're actually racist. It's like what I use for every person to try and make them understand the scope of systematic racism more. It was incredibly helpful for me. I'm such a visual learner. And this movie is so haunting and uncomfortable and hard to watch and also just mind blowing for someone who doesn't know what's going on or doesn't know what's happening or doesn't understand how deeply rooted and broken our prison system is. And it's all about the 13th amendment, which is the abolishment of slavery and about how that didn't really <laughs> didn't really go away and it just became mass incarceration. I know I have a lot of viewers who are super progressive and super liberal and you are stuck in houses with parents who are not or grandparents or guardians. My biggest piece of advice is put this movie on. I'm pretty sure it's also free on YouTube. Someone had told me it's not just on Netflix now. Put this movie on, watch it in the living room and try and engage the people in your home to have a conversation with you about this because I think people like to turn a blind eye and this is something that hopefully will suck them in. It's fantastic and if you haven't seen it yet watch it can i say my favorite book of the month is my book you're not special self promo time my favorite book is my book i have a link i think it's book depository does free worldwide shipping you can also call your local book bookstore and ask them to order it for you but that's the back it's the front i feel like you've all seen this at this point. Karma's a bigger bitch than I could ever be and I can be a massive bitch. And if you listen to the audiobook, I recorded it. So like, I I mean, I, I mean, Melissa recorded it for me, but I talked and read it so you can hear it in my voice. My favorite YouTube channel that I have discovered recently is Hot La Mode. And he is like a fashion expert and he reviews people's like closet tours, but he also reviews like runway shows. And I just want to be friends with him. And I am just obsessed with his content. I would love to know who you guys have been watching on YouTube lately. You know, you know who I used to, my number one used to be. And with the, the whole pay disparity based on uh, race, had to unsubscribe in solidarity. So I'm constantly looking for new YouTube channels to fill that void. So let me know who you guys have really enjoyed watching. And my last favorites are puzzles. I'm obsessed with puzzles. I didn't know this about me. Turns out I love puzzles and turns out I'm really good at puzzles. Like my brain is built for it. And an ADHD brain is not built for a lot of stuff. <laughs> and puzzles for the first time, not to make this like so incredibly deep or whatever, but like one of the, I think it's like one of the only few instances that like the second I started doing this puzzle, I was like, wait, I'm good at this. Like I like this and I, I'm, I'm, I'm good at it because my brain works in this way, not like in spite of the fact that my brain works this way. So it's been a big confidence boost too, which sounds super dumb, but it has been. And it just it gives me like a good satisfying feeling of finishing something. And then I also got a puzzle app on my phone <laughs> because I'm so addicted. Puzzle app that's called Jigsaw Puzzle and it's free. So these are all of the puzzles that I've done. That's it. Oh, am I sweating? A little bit. So that is it for my quarantine favorites. All of the things that I've been loving, the things that have been keeping me mildly sane. I would also love to know what other videos you guys would like to see from me. Oh, subscribe, thumbs up, the notification bell. Who am I, Logan Paul? Don't you love how they just like switch off being like shittier? Like who's worse now? Just end the video. Goodbye. Excuse me, goodbye.